Hi, this is Charlie Montatoyella again with another How to Play the Native American Flute video, one of our video series that we're sharing here on YouTube. Um, today we're going to speak about the walking stick flute. The walking stick flute is one that, to my knowledge, is not a traditional type flute, although it can be made in a traditional pattern. Um, this walking stick flute, of course, like all of our other flutes, is one that I've made. Uh, this one, as with many of my own personal flutes, is one that I originally kind of dredged out of my scrap box that had a giant crack in it from here to there and uh, I actually sealed it back up and put it back together like once again many of my personal flutes. I hate throwing them away but I'm not going to send them to the public so uh, in this particular case I developed kind of a liking for it and I really really do have an appreciation for this flute. It's, it's really uh, my companion when we go, go off in the woods. In either case, I wanted to give you a little information about the flute and how to play it. This flute, particularly this one, not all of them that I've made like this, but this one or that other vendors make, um, is made out of a single piece of river cane, an indigenous species. And this is a bottom link on the river cane, and this is the top link on it. And once again, another link between here and here. So you can see there's a good two, two feet of distance in between, you know, one partition in the river cane, one node as they call it, and the next. Um, I've made the flute into the bottom node, and instead of having it cut off in the bottom so that I can give it extra strength and a nice little base for, uh, for sticking in the dirt and nudging snakes out of the way, uh, I uh, put my escape hole, my release hole, or my final tunnel hole right here, and then when I cover all the holes up from the top to bottom, actually the last note comes out of this one, so unlike others where it comes out the bottom. And uh, on my walking stick flutes, although they do vary from other people's, um, there's an open hole over here on the side that you blow through. You actually put your lips on it and, and cover it up and blow through it just like you do with the rather regular flute you blow like this. Um, and we do it that way so that it has the convenience of being able to play it up here rather than having to try to reach all the way up there. So either which way, it makes a great walking stick. Uh, if you need something to trek off in the woods with, I weigh 203 pounds and this flute is definitely enough to support me, not that I rely on it as much as, as other people may, but uh, I do use it and I do enjoy it a great deal and it seems to be very sturdy for me. And of course I've had uh, people that really have enjoyed these walking stick flutes. So either which way, I wanted to show you a little simple technique for how to play it. And if you notice, I've already started doing it right here. I just kind of rested on my shoulder. And the part I'm resting on my shoulder is where the mouthpiece is. So you kind of rest it there and then you can lift it up to your mouth and cover it fully with your mouth, cover all the holes up and play. So anyway, just to give you a little bit more idea of how this flute plays, um, this one of course is a little different than others, and you know, no flute, uh, I think my cousin said that no two flutes are exactly alike, which is probably about as close to true as I think I could come up with, as many of them I've, I've tuned over the years, um, and I've made some that sounded really close, I found people that preferred one over the other, I just subtle little nuances. Um, this walking stick flute, I keep oiled and maintained, just like we do the other flutes, which will be... Uh, you know, the maintenance is not the funnest part of anything, but it is something very, very crucial to keeping your flute for a long time. And we'll discuss that a little bit uh, in, a, in one of the very next upcoming videos that we have. But um, this one is a little deeper tone flute. Part of the tone of the flute uh, comes from this resonating chamber down here, 
that reverberates and there's some acoustic um, backlash, I like to call it, that kind of echoes back up into the flute. So there's some notes that I play, you may find uh, that you're hearing uh, almost a dual tone coming out of it. Um, but that's because of the, the little acoustic backlash that it has that reverberates and comes back up through here. And you have some small resonance that are, you know, vibrating their ways up through the flute at the same time that these are vibrating more quickly going down the flute. So it, it causes some neat things to happen. And uh, they're very, uh, some people say they sound kind of spooky, <laughs> but uh, they're very fun to play and really something I've enjoyed a great deal. And uh, I found that people all over the world really seem to have an enjoyment for them as well. I mean, these flutes are being played right now in Switzerland and in Australia. I don't know how many, how many of them we've ever sent there, but there's been quite a bunch of them to Australia. And uh, people really do enjoy them. They, they remind them, of course, of other indigenous instruments. Of course, I'm sure it reflects the didgeridoo because of the size and the, the length, although they're a little bit bigger in diameter than this guy is, but they do seem to have an appreciation for them down under. Uh, in either case, uh, if you have any other questions or any other videos about how to play or make the Native American flute that you'd like me to address, uh, you want me to bring something up or anything at all, please feel free to write us. You can send us an email or contact us through YouTube here, of course. Feel free to send a comment, only if they're good. And uh, don't forget, at the bottom of the page, there's always a link to our website and, of course, our other videos. But in either case, this is Charlie Montefiel again, signing out for now. And uh, looking forward to bringing you another flute-making and playing video again very soon. Take care.